Let's have a look at solving exponential equations. The basic idea behind exponential equations is a very simple one. If you have a look here and I ask you, all right, what do I have to put in a place of x here to make this and this exactly the same? I think you'd think, well, that's almost a sort of silly question because obviously what I need to put here is 5 so that this and this are the same. So the answer is, the solution to this equation is that x has to be 5. And that's really all there is to exponential equations. All right, maybe not quite all, because obviously sometimes it's not going to come in quite that neat a format. So if we've got something like this, 2 to the x is equal to 8, what can we do? We know that it's really easy to solve if we have 2 to the x is equal to 2 to the something. So all we have to do is try and get 8 into the format 2 to the something. So, you should know quite well by now that 8 is just the 2 cubed, right? And so now, what do we have to put in place of x so that this and this are exactly the same? Well, obviously, we have to have x is equal to 3. And we'll have the same story over here. If we're solving 2 to the x is equal to 1, again, we need to get this side into the format 2 to the power of something. And you should be very familiar with the idea by now that 1 is just something to the power of 0. In fact, anything, except for 0 itself, to the power of 0 is 1. So we can rewrite 1 as 2 to the power of 0. And now again, it's very easy to solve the equation. What do we need to put in place of x to make this and this exactly the same? Well, obviously, we just have to make x 0. And even if we just slightly alter what we've got, the main idea remains the same. If we've got something like this, all we need to make sure is that we've got 5 in the base on both sides. So, in this case, we are going to turn 125 into 5 to the power of 3, because that's what 125 is equal to. Now, what do we have to do to make these two the same? Well, in order for them to be the same, this over here, and let me actually circle it in red, and this must be the same. As soon as those two things are the same, then 5 to the power of it is going to be the same. And so we get that we need x plus 2 to be equal to 3, and that's a very simple equation for us to solve. If x plus 2 is 3, then x must be equal to 1. Just a quick note, there will of course be some cases where we can't force the thing into the way we want. So for example, if I have 2 to the x is equal to 9, with the skills I have at the moment, there's no way I can rewrite 9 as 2 to the power of something. At a later stage in your school career, you'll learn how to solve equations like this one. But at this point, we can't force 9 into the format 2 to the power of something. And so at this point, we wouldn't be able to go any further.